Hello everyone. Welcome to Inspire. You are watching short and sweet tutorial series. This series is for beginners and new learners who want to start learning Adobe Premiere Pro software but they don't know where to start or how to start. I will show you very basics of video editing in Premiere Pro step by step. Without any further ado I will open Adobe Premiere Pro CC. You can see a welcome screen. These are some recent files. Now click on new project here. After selecting new project another window appears. Here I will properly name my Premiere project file. Which will help me to browse in future. Select location of the file. Maintaining folder system helps to manage hundreds of files, footages, audios and images which we will use in our project. It makes our work easier. After giving proper location press OK. Now this is the user interface of Adobe Premiere Pro. This is project panel where we can import videos, images, audio, titles. To import video click on file and import. Now select any footage that you have to edit. I will select these videos and open it in Premiere. After importing media make a folder in project panel. And name it properly. Now I will import audio. To edit this videos and audios we need timeline. To create timeline click here on new item icon and select sequence. Now it will show many options here. I will select red R3 D 1080p and 25 FPS. These are the frame size, frame rate or audio settings you can select any option you need. And give proper name to your sequence and press OK. Now here we can see video layers and audio layers in timeline. These are video layers and these are the audio layers. We can hide video layer by clicking this eye icon. This icon mutes the audio and S icon helps to solo audio. Now select any video and double click on it. Video will preview in source panel. You can trim your video here by making an in point and out point like this. For in point click I button and for out point press O. Now we can click and drag video on timeline from here. I will zoom timeline by selecting this bar. We can select video separately by selecting this icon. And for audio we can select this icon. Now I will follow the same process to drag some more videos on timeline. You can put your video in any layer on timeline. Whatever we are editing here on timeline we can see output here in program window. Here in Windows Workspace you can change or modify panels according to your requirement. This are some examples of different workspace. I will work on editing workspace. These are some other panels which I will show you in next episodes of short and sweet tutorials. If you like the video or learned something useful to click on like subscribe and stay in touch for more advanced videos of editing and VFX.